Good day and thanks for joining us. I'm Antika Rasava reporting from Athens, the Greek capital, and here's what's happening here. The government is expected to present today its draft budget for 2014. Finance ministry officials are pointing to that primary surplus Greece will be recording and will be posting. That's about 2.8 billion euros or 1.5 of the GDP. Now, a primary surplus is hugely important. It's whatever is left in state coffers after you strip away all the expenses like interest on debt loans, cost related uh, issues to social security funds, the defense, municipal budgets. So according to this draft budget being tabled today, 2014 will be the first time in 10 years that Greece will have enough money to be paying for its own running costs without the help of international lenders. That leads to the most important feature of of 2014, which is that uh, that year 2014 will be providing growth. It is the first time yet again uh, since the financial crisis here exploded that uh, Greece will be recording a small but significant 0.6 percent growth. That will be, however, something to watch on uh, closely because any and every estimate and prediction related to this figure has been off in these past few years. Now, Prime Minister Antoni Samaras is going to be taking this upbeat piece of financial news with him to Israel, where a joint council of senior Greek and Israeli ministers will be uh, meeting. It will be chaired by Mr. Samaras and and his Israeli counterpart Benjamin Netanyahu and one of the main topics both sides will be discussing will no doubt be joint investment uh, projects here in Greece including joint drilling projects in the Mediterranean both sides have their eyes on huge natural gas reserves across the Mediterranean reserves that could supply by some accounts as much as 50 percent of Europe's natural gas needs needs in the next 30 years. Despite that interest, there's no doubt that talks will be dominated, at least in their first bit, by the government's attempt to crack down on the far-right neo-Nazi Golden Dawn Party, a move which anti-racist and leading uh, Jewish lobby groups have been pushing Mr. Samaras to do for several years now. Well, that's it from us here today. Join us here again tomorrow.